New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys a unique or useful tool that I think you might be interested in. Sitting on my workbench is truly a unique tool that I find extremely useful, and at a quick glance, you might think it's just a pair of slip joint pliers, and I assure you, they are not. These are a wrench plier set made by Knipex. Now, I hear this name said 20,000 different ways, so write down below how you pronounce it, but seeing how it's German, we're gonna pronounce it Knipex. These are basically a combination wrench and a combination pair of pliers. What I use them for is a replacement for an adjustable wrench. And you may be thinking, eh, you're gonna strip it out. No, that's what these are designed for. They will not strip out your bolts, and we're gonna talk about why now. I've commonly referred to this style of tool as a slip joint pair of pliers, and albeit they will work kind of as an adjustable wrench, you basically open them up and you adjust them to the appropriate size, and then you can get a good purchase on a nut just like this. The problem with these are they want to slip and you really can't get that much leverage on the nut, plus they have jagged edges and basically you just end up tearing up your nuts or bolts that you're trying to use these to tighten or loosen. So it's generally understood you really need a wrench, a socket, or an adjustable wrench like this guy. And we all know the joys of using an adjustable wrench. Basically you adjust it to the width you need to use it as a wrench on the nut, but we all know what happens. It loses its size as you use it. You're constantly readjusting it. And sometimes you end up rounding your nut off anyhow. Now the Kniepix pliers have some dirty little secrets up their sleeve that make them exceptional at gaining a purchase on a nut. The first is the amount of leverage that you can put onto that nut. And you can see how much leverage this has by the amount of movement that's in the handle and the little bit of movement that's in the jaw. Now there's still a slip joint plier, so to speak, meaning you can slide them up and down to pre-adjust them. But if you watch the handle movement, this is like a good four and a half inches of movement, and you're only gonna get about a quarter inch of movement on the jaws themselves. That's gonna give you an incredible amount of leverage and your nut is not gonna slip. I know it's hard to believe, but we're gonna prove it here in a second. Because of its design, the jaws are always perfectly parallel, which make it perfect for grabbing bolts and nuts. Also because of the design, you almost don't even have to hold on to the bottom part of the wrench. As you're putting all of your force on this guy here, here, it just wants to tighten itself because the more you move the handle this way, the tighter the jaws get. And as long as the bolt isn't moving, it can't spin out of your way. To demonstrate that, I'm gonna grab a hold of half of the nut with the pair of pliers, and I'm gonna hang on to this side of the adjustable wrench, and I'm only gonna put pressure on the top half of these pliers, and watch. I can press as hard as I want, and you can even see it shaking a little bit because I have a lot of pressure on it and it's not slipping at all and I'm not even touching the bottom part of the pliers. The quality of metal seems to be pretty good as well. I've abused these tools and done things with them that I probably shouldn't have and short of just getting a little bit of rust from some rusty nuts on them, uh, they're still really good shape and they are a couple of years old now. I wanna give you a demonstration of how well these work. And I'm gonna take these little itty teeny tiny pliers and I'm going to put about 15 foot pounds of torque on this bolt that is welded to the socket that is in this digital torque meter that is on my ratchet that is also in my vise on my toolbox. It's not gonna move. Let's go ahead and turn the meter on and I'm gonna hold right around 15 foot pounds and I'm gonna take my fingers and let go of the leading edge of the pliers. And look at that, I'm holding 15 foot pounds without even squeezing the pliers. What an incredible design. I can't even tell you the last time I grabbed an adjustable wrench. I automatically go to these guys for the speed and they just work that much better. So there you have my quick and dirty review of the Kinepex wrench pliers. I really like them. I think they're extremely good. They're a little bit pricey, but they're well worth that price once you start using them and you realize how well they work. I will put a link down below to these guys. And if you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.